Hi, I'm Owen Canfield with the opinion page of The Oklahoman, here to talk politics and life at the Capitol with Mike McNutt, our chief Capitol correspondent. Mike, thank you for being here on a rainy Friday. You bet. Uh, there, as we take today, there are two weeks left in the legislative session. Uh, a budget has not yet been agreed upon, and so that will take up, I'm sure, the bulk of the leadership's time uh, in the coming days. Uh, what is your take on how soon you think they might get this done? The Speaker has said it needs to be done maybe by the 18th in order to give members enough time to kind of wade through it and, and make a solid vote. Do you see that happening? Yeah, well, they have to because uh, no one wants to even talk about the word special session. That's the one thing they have to do before the end of the sessions required, which is last Friday in May, is to draft a budget for the state. And uh, the, 20, the 18th, the week from today, is the last day realistically they can get a budget passed and get it through all the steps it has to go through the House and the Senate, you know, um, and first the budget committee's got to look at it. Uh, they could probably push it to three day, three legislative days, but I think they do, would like to give the members time to look it over. The Speaker thinks that midweek, next week, they might have a deal. And it's about typical, you know, it always comes down to about the last, uh, within the last sure. 10 days of the session, a budget deal comes in because all these last minute parameters are are thrown into it. And really the last unknown I guess is what sort of budget or what sort of income tax cut will be part of the budget. The, yeah, that's the a governor has been pushing hard for a, a cut to about three percent down from five and a quarter. That doesn't appear to be doable but she was out there yesterday saying we need to really slash it. Yeah that's that complicates the budget process um, this year because that's an integral part. You have to determine before you determine how to spend the money, you have to know how much money is coming in. Right. And you take away part of the personal income tax, which takes in about 30% of the money. You have to determine what that is before you can start. To, now, that's apparently that's how, this, I think that's how the um, House is looking at it. As I understand the Senate, they're doing the other thing. They're coming up with the budget first, and then I what's see. left over, that'll be the um, cut. The cut right. And the governor is, uh, like you say, wants to get as most as she can, uh, because Kansas is, it, it, just this week, the legislature passed a um, measure that would lower their personal, top personal income tax rate to, to low just under Oklahoma. Five, right. Yeah, and uh, the governor still has to approve that, and he may not approve this one. There's another one that's not as strong a cut, so we don't know what the final verdict is up in Kansas. But that's part of the argument now is that uh, Oklahoma has to keep cutting. Of course, Texas doesn't have a personal income tax. Right now, you know, it's now it's pressure time. And all the talk earlier in the session, that didn't sound bad. Let's cut it down from 5.25 to 2.25 was one of the proposals. And then let's get rid of the income tax, personal income tax in 10 years. Now when you're actually, now it's showtime, as they right. say, um, there's a lot more pressure because once you cut this ta personal income tax, uh, because of Bumping Oklahoma's laws, Oklahoma. there's no way really yeah. to replace that income. Right. Other states are looking at either replacing the income with another tax or they're using some spare money around the, to, uh, to balance the um, budget. So a lot to be done, but I think uh, by, mid -next, by mid next week we ought to know what the budget is. The members probably will approve it because it's right. a Republican controlled legislature. The key players are all Republican. And the Democrats will, uh, uh, you know, they say they're against cutting the income tax at this time because we're still recovering. State agencies have been covered three years. Let's give them some money. The other thing is bond issues. Right. You know, the Capitol looks like it has probably the best chance. But as we talked before, the American Indian Cultural Center, the Pop Center in Tulsa, there's some state buildings they like to do right. as well. You know, this is where it really becomes interesting the next few days because now they're trying to get as much pressure, each of those, the Senate and House leadership and the governor, trying to get their, this is their last chance to get what they want in, in a budget. Well, you'll be all over it as you are always, and I appreciate you wearing the proper uniform today, yeah, Mike. Sure. That's yeah. good. Uh, we invite you to read Mike's stuff every day in the Oklahoma and here on News Okay.